Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to the video. Today we're going to get started on the Star Wars Black Series Sergeant Krill from the Star Wars comics. This is from the 2015 run. He appears throughout it as technically two characters, one in his stormtrooper form and the other one being a game master. I'm not going to, excuse me, I'm not going to spoil anything else. But if you haven't read the comics, I'm pretty sure some of you will wiki it, Google it, YouTube it, all that other good jazz. But the point that I'm making here is I love Sergeant Krill. I love the Scar Squad. Um, basically, they're they're like the Task Force 99 of the original trilogy stuff that worked into the comics. And I absolutely love them. So I really wanted this figure. So shout out to Flex, uh, who got it over in the UK, thought of me, because I literally continued to make posts about, oh my God, I want a Sergeant Krill. And yeah, that was me. That was absolutely me, voice and all. <laughs> so yeah, let's get started. Uh, this uses the Mandalorian Stormtrooper body, which I'm not against, but I would have totally liked if they had went with a brand new body, considering that this is their sort of redesign for it, whereas it's not as close to the comic book design as I would want with art by Jorge Molina. This is their toy counterpart, which is, I would say it's okay, but it's not because there are really big differences in that Scar Trooper armor versus the, the toys. But I, I really, really, really would have liked that comic book armor. But here we are with what we have. And honestly, photo-wise, I've made the best of it. Because the Mandalorian Stormtrooper body mold is actually really not a bad body mold at all. It just does not work in the sense of someone who's going to hold a lightsaber. So with that being said, let's talk about articulation and look. So we here we have our body. Body, 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 body blue. Um, <laughs> and we can technically look up. But we cannot look down. We have our shoulder piece here. I would have liked it if they came around the arm like it was supposed to. But the reason why they didn't do that is because on his back, he actually has those thrusters. And it's a little bit why I'm a little disappointed. Because the backpack should actually be a little bit bigger. And like I said, with, with Sergeant Krill, I'm hoping that we get the rest of the Scar Squadron. Because they actually have really nice body parts. So, uh, we here we have our pouches, which are movable actually. We have our communicator. Again... All this is movable on those body parts that they added on. We can lift our arm up. That means we can hit the T-pose. Very important. T-pose. We have a horizontal joint here. Well, we have a vertical for the trigger hand on this side. And the reason why this is because you want your lightsaber dueling hand. We have a single joint, which it's very nice because it actually moves past that 90 degrees. Give you an acute angle. We have a butterfly joints. I really do love these butterfly joints. I won't front. And we have a very nice rotating waist, but we don't have any under joint movement, which actually kills any of the cool posable stuff you would have wanted to do. And then we have our legs, which can lift up. We have a thigh swivel, but the armor plating will get in the way at the top. So you may want to get around to that. We also have this black armor piece, sort of like a cybernetics piece, but I don't want to. If you haven't read the comics with the Scar Squadron, you really should. They're really, really good. We have our holster for our blaster. We have leg thigh pouch armor because pouches, you, you can never go wrong with pouches, right? Well, you can, but still. <laughs> we have a singular joint. Really would have liked a double joint, but this will pass. We have generous ankle pivot that goes forward and around, which will allow us to get in certain poses. If you guys remember, I did the incinerator trooper, which shares the same body mode. And if you don't, uh, I guess I'll put this in the link description, I guess. <laughs> but yeah. As you can see here, you can technically get some nice poses out of him. I think the biggest issue you're going to have is because of those single joints, it's still going to limit you. So you have to keep that kind of stuff in mind. But overall, I'm very, very happy that we have a Krill. Would I have liked a better Krill? Yes. But I'm still happy that we're getting comic characters because we really don't see that with the new stuff that we've been getting lately. Especially because, like I said, he's supposed to have backpack thrusters. So I really want to do cool poses with him using it to do the city jump scene or other stuff. It's just really cool to see it. So I'm going to do my best to make sure he rolls around squadron type, getting getting busy in the streets, right? Let's actually change up our poses for a little bit, right? And then let's talk about what Krill comes with, because he actually is packed very light on the accessories. He is. So Krill will actually come with his blaster, as you'll see here. This is our standard Stormtrooper blaster because Krill is very big on I'm a Stormtrooper and you can't kill us all. Like, he doesn't say it like that, but he's he's very much like the 
the one is all and the all is one. Like we can't be stopped. What like Super Hydra or something. Space Hydra. Let's call him Space Hydra boss. <laughs> and then he also comes with a lightsaber. The lightsaber he comes with is unidentified, but uh, his handle is actually pretty nice. It is a black handle with a hilt that is silver and it's green. I don't, oh, you can pull it out. I, I tried pulling it out before and I had some trouble. So I mean, you can actually do technical storage for it. You can actually pull it out, didn't know that. In the comics, he actually stores it right here in the front. There is no piece for that, but he actually didn't get that storage port for it until much later. So they are definitely going by his first appearance with his saber and not the later appearances but like i said it's really cool to have this guy it really really is because i love sergeant krill he gave luke skywalker such a hard time um <laughs> so yeah I'm, I'm super excited to just get a few poses with him and just have a good time i wish i had more rebels and stuff but i don't so i'm gonna try to do other cool stuff that i can like that i can think of in my mind but yeah krill is a very like, if you collect Stormtroopers, it's nice to have some of that expanded canon stuff. If it's just something you see and you thought it was cool, I, I guarantee you, you think it's cool. It's a Stormtrooper with a lightsaber. But if you're not into, like, the comic book lore, this may not be for you. This is 100% for people like me who love those kind of stories and don't get merchandise for it. So it's pretty cool to see it. Um, But yeah, with all that being said, what we're going to do is we're going to jump to the size comparisons and... I'm going to fix what's going on with my light because it has a weird buzzing sound. But uh, yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in a sec as we jump to sizes. Hey guys, welcome to the size comparison. I think the first thing we want to do is some Stormtroopers, obviously. So we're going to do some Black Series Stormtroopers and some SHF ones. I don't have the Moffex or the Kyoto ones anymore, unfortunately. But it's still fun, so let's have at the. Here is a Rocket Trooper. I'm going to fix those angles. So here we are with a fellow Black Series Rocket Trooper. As we can see, it's really just a color differential. Here we are with the, a normal fellow Mando Stormtrooper. And this has been the new body that we've been going with so far. Um, ooh, honestly, looking at it, I was wrong. He actually does have a close chest plate to that of his comic book counterpart. And I didn't realize it until I looked at these actual other two. His chest plate is actually very close to the Jorge Molina design. So I take that back to what I said earlier in this review. I did not realize that until I put all three together. It's actually pretty cool. Wow, they actually put a little bit of effort into that. Uh, I like that. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right. <laughs> Here we are with an SHF Rogue One Stormtrooper. These guys are a little bit smaller, but can fit in your army because Stormtroopers aren't technically universal. Everybody's different heights and different sizes, right? Here we are with a Black Series Purge Trooper from Fallen Order. There you go brightness is a little less bright oh that's because it got gloomy outside that's why <laughs> i'm using that window light to get real good in there right here we are with a black series boba fett i won't use the other boba fett because this boba fett is around during krill's time then we'll do a a black series darth vader and for the record krill only krill sergeant krill <laughs> and his scar scooper squadron only adhere in answer to darth vader which is pretty cool that means they work directly under him. And this is like, even with his Inquisitors, he has a special group of Stormtroopers, which is so dope. <laughs> Here we are with an SHF Darth Vader. I made some Manzaban, but he stands around his normal height. Just has some different cloth. Right? Next up, we have SHF Luke Skywalker. And I chose this one because this is the newest one. And then I have the ceremonial Luke Skywalker. And it's cool because I actually like this one a lot. It's a little small, but I like this one a lot because this is close to the costume that he wears in the comics at the time as well, too. Last but not least, we got your boy Han Solo. So there we go. I like Han and Krill going at it, but Han does not stand a chance against Krill, especially not with no lightsaber. Now we're going to compare to a few other things. We're going to get some Marvel Legends, some Mezco in there. So, yeah, so you can see what it's like, right? So here we are next to a Marvel Legends shield agent. Then we have Mezco Me. Because I can I can be in the Star Wars universe looking cool, right? A little bit taller. I'm on a Gomez body, aka the Black Skull Death Brigade body. Um I don't really have anything else around. <laughs> I don't have any like 
lightning collection or anything else but now you know kind of where he stands and it's pretty cool and uh it's really nice to get some comic book stuff i hope we get more comic book stuff i hope we get the rest of task force 99 that would be really dope excuse me i had a little bit of i had a little bit of interruption in my chest but uh yes i, I really like seeing this this makes me very very happy i hope to get some cool shots i really am but most importantly it is just cool because even if you don't want this item it's cool to see that the different levels of fandom can get something that everybody enjoys and that's really fucking cool Ooh, excuse me sorry about that but uh the point that i'm making is thank you for watching thank you for truly enjoying i let that curse word slip so that's my bad i got really excited um and as always be good to yourself be good to others uh be good out there in the universe just in general and as always please be good do good drink your water guys later <laughs>